Hello friends and family, my name is Kappa Byer and today I'm gonna be building my own little YouTube studio here in my room and I'm bringing you guys along so you can see everything. Let's do it. If you watched a couple of my videos, you probably noticed that the background is kind of inconsistent. Hello friends and family. Hello friends and family. Hello friends and family. Truth be told, I've been experimenting with it. Honestly, I've been experimenting with everything I've been doing. And sometimes things work and sometimes things just don't. But all the things that I've tried, or rather, all the things I've failed at, I've been learning a lot of stuff, and I've realized that changing angles within my room is just not gonna cut it. So I decided I was gonna take all of my creative skill and put it into creating the most awesome studio I could come up with. And then I remembered that I have no creative skills whatsoever. So I decided to call my cousin, who happens to be an art major, to help me out with this. Hey ho boss, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I suck at arts. Uh, okay. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so I talked to my cousin, who is not only an incredible human being and a great Dungeons and Dragons player, but also a kick-ass artist. And I'm bringing her here... Today. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome. My first ever guest here on the channel. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> Please explain so everyone knows what we're going to be doing here today. So, we need to fix this blank wall that we have behind us right now. It's not very pretty. And we're going to get some lights and we're going to make it look good. We're going to make it look cool and funky for all the people who want to know more about psychology, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but first things first, I have to speak to you to know what we want actually out of this. Okay. And so we can come up with something to then get the lights and get the background to make it pretty. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, so... Brainstorm time? Brainstorm time. plan this is you this is the curtain that i don't know if we're gonna change the curtains here or not probably not because you're just white and they look good with the black background behind you we're gonna have the little yellow squares and we're gonna put a shelf here and here's gonna be the colorful led light so you can like change the mood if you want it's gonna look good <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah let's do it let's <laughs> Don't you just like want a blue cow head? We got everything. And we're going home. We're going home. We're reassessing and putting it up. See you in a bit. And we're back. We're gonna put the things up on the wall now and maybe make a plan for that side. We're not sure yet about what we're gonna do, we were just talking about it. And in just a second I will show you the artwork we'll put on the wall. My parents went at a fair yesterday and they found these. They're made of wood and they're yellow, so I think it's gonna be cool in the background because my hair is black, my glasses are black, my earring is black, almost every shirt I own is black. I think I needed like a brighter color to kind of tell me apart from the background. Bo also told me that like this chair, it's a black one and there's not a lot of distinction from the back. Background. So to go with the artwork, we're taking this yellow chair, like it has a nice texture. We also picked up some LED lights. They can pretty much light up at any color and I think they look really great. But yeah, this is what we had for now. We'll put everything up and we'll see how that goes from there.
and we're done. We're done. We're kind of done. <laughs> we're kind of done. We're kind of done. Um, we couldn't get a shelf. Um, we had a few. We were setbacks. very. Uh, we kind of. We gave up on the shelf at a certain point because we thought this is not gonna work. Let's not put a shelf. But now that it's all done, we're like. A shelf's gonna be. A shelf's gonna look so good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will see. Um, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys like exactly how it looks right now. I think it looks awesome. I'm not gonna hold the suspense. Let's let, let's just see it. Let's <laughs> just, just, just watch it for yourself. Let's just, just see it. All right, here we are back to the okay. studio. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> um, it looks like a studio now. Yes, it's yes, fun. yes, it does. It feels like a studio as well. It doesn't feel like I'm in my room. Like, it's super weird. Um, I know it doesn't look like we did a lot. Um, we just kind of put everything in the wall. It was nothing too complicated, but I think we had a lot of few things that made a lot of difference. I know this table was already here at the beginning of the video, but it wasn't here in the previous video. This was a change that we made today. I think it looks better. You said it's more comfortable. Yes, yes, it's very comfortable. And I can see the, kind of the rest of the room. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. <laughs> these we knew from the beginning that we wanted to put up. We just had to figure out the layout and where each one of the squares was gonna go. So that was all you. Uh, the shelf was supposed to go on the left side but we had two small problems that made us kind of give up on it in the middle of the process the first one is that we really wanted the wood to match the wood on the table and we couldn't really find one today and the second problem is that we started to have small doubts about how it was actually going to look on the wall since we hadn't done the yellow squares part yet so we gave up on that we just focused on lights uh, we got the LEDs which looks good uh, we fixed also like the lighting situation you already had on your ceiling I think it looks better now than it did like in the morning actually um we didn't get a white light for behind yet but i actually do think it's gonna look good we just didn't really find any that would like the appropriate height and we didn't want to buy something that was just not gonna be exactly correct so we didn't get one yet but we might yeah we might i'll help you <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh we might still put the shelf but we do need to find the wood that matches the table so there's that yeah i think now it's a question of i'll kind of see how this is working the way that it is right now and yeah i don't know like later on we can change a couple of things maybe put off the shelf um i think it would look good i have these old cameras um that i think would look pretty good in the background i think for right now we did the best thing that we could have done uh, we didn't overdo anything we wanted to keep it very simple and one of the purposes of this video was also to do something that we thought that any person could kind of do you can can obviously change the artwork it's a flexible kind of design we started thinking where's the viewpoint gonna be we have to make it look good from there you know rules of thirds and everything and we kind of tried to apply it to the entire wall instead of just this view uh, you could do a video standing up you could do a video a little bit over there you could do a video more focused you could do it even like further back and it would still look nice so it's not something that you have to have like a nail on the ground where the phone's supposed to be I can really appreciate that because I I don't think I could recreate like the same shot every time. <laughs> so the fact that it will just look good and it can be flexible is also, I, th I think it's cool. And like it brings some uniqueness to each video, I think. And yeah, um, I'm just very happy with the way everything turned out. And honestly, I don't think we could have done a better job. And I'm very thankful to Bob for helping me out. It was very fun. <laughs> 
Hello once again friends and family, welcome back to the MIDI studio, it's just me now. If you're interested in the gear that I'm using, I will leave links in the description for the microphone, the lights and everything. And speaking of that, I want to leave a shout out here to my brother who hands me his microphone every single week so I can record. And also I want to say thank you to my mom and to my dad for giving me these beautiful artwork I just put on the wall as a present. Also I wanted to take a moment to thank every single one of you who's been watching my videos lately. And honestly, like I've been getting so many messages every single week from people telling me that they liked the video from last week or telling me to keep going and keep creating that just motivates me so much i'm very thankful to all of you who have been reaching out to me and i wanted to let you know that i really appreciate that and kind of being surrounded by a community especially like with the everything that's been going on lately it's just a great experience to have also i'll just put the stats on the screen like the channel has been doing so well lately like i couldn't be happier with everything finally i want to leave another huge thank you to ball for helping me out with everything and for spending the day with me i had a ton of fun recording this video and I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, remember to leave a like below. Usually in this channel we talk about psychology. Feel free to check any other of my videos to see if you resonate with that and then consider subscribing to the channel if you do. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch more, there's gonna be a link here and if not, I will just see you next week. All right, bye guys. And we didn't want to buy things that were gonna like be half so oh I can't say <laughs> 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 <laughs>